So one thing I like to focus on is creative tools that work within the Linux ecosystem and workflow. And I've talked about video editors. I've talked about 3D graphics. I've done some music stuff, but really a lot of this kind of starts down at the base level. And I'm talking about writing. And that's why I want to talk about Fountain. Now, Fountain is one of those markup formats like Markdown, where it's it's a standard, but it's not like ISO standard. A lot of people use it. It's recognized, but there's not one central point of authority. So it's a very loose language. Now, if you're familiar with Markdown, the format, you might take to this very easily where it's a plain text format, you can do it with any word processor. It can be Notepad, it can be Vim, it can even be VS Code, or even online word processors that can export a text file. You can write fountain scripts and it has all the tools you need to format your script into a, into, into a format that can be converted to FDX, which is Final Draft, which is kind of known as the industry standard or script writing in Hollywood, and at least it's been that way since the 90s. And then this screen, this plain format, Fountain and FDX can be interchanged. But also a lot of the same tools will also let you spit out a clean PDF for printing for those who still need printed copies of their, of their scripts. Now this is good for, of course, narratives, but it's also good for writing direction. And you can take a modified version of this for writing scripts for comic books. It's pretty versatile and it's pretty great. And like I said, it's pretty much universally understood. So uh, let's take a peek at it here. So what I'm gonna do here first is I'm gonna go click on this uh, fountain link, oops. Now this is the example script of Big Fish, the movie from I think 2002, 2003. And one of the writers of the format is also the writer of this film. That would be uh, John August. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy all this real quick here so we can get a good handle of it. And over here I have VS Code and I've installed some plugins and one of the plugins I installed is Better Fountain. Better Fountain is a free and open source, I believe. And it, let, it adds a bunch of tools in VS Code or VS Code I'm running right now to make fountain writing easier and better. And the best part is it, 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 it does a lot. It does a lot. So we're going to make a new text file. I'm going to paste the script in. Now, VS Code is going to try to guess this is Markdown because that's this close language, but really it is Fountain. Now you'll see there's some highlight, hiding, highlighting of the text for each different section. Let's go all the way to the top here. Up here we have the front matter, which is going to be the formatting, the home page, yada, yada, yada. Not the home page, cover page. And if I come over here to show live preview, now we have a version of the script that's generated to look as closely as the plugin thinks the finished script will be. And it gets things right or wrong. Again, it's not a hard standard. It's a very loose standard. I and mean, I'm not super happy with the way it formats it here. I actually like another program called Screenplane. I think it does a much better job. And uh, but as you can see, it's a, it's a good looking script. So let's check out the front matter here. So we can change the title of this movie. For example, let's call it fake movie. And you can see the changes show up right here. For anyone who's familiar with screenwriting, you usually do the format. You establish an area, a place, and then you have all caps who's saying something immediately followed by what they say. And then it just goes like that. All caps, all caps. So there's one name all cap with a return and then a bunch of text, it'll show up like this, where the text is in the center and then it's the format. Now the screen plane format, that helps you separate the dialogue from the screen information for the, for the director or the filmmaker, I should say. But over here, it's gonna be all flat. Again, because it's all plain text, it doesn't matter what editor you use it for. So let's go back to the official fountain documentation, we come over here to apps. There is plugins for this format everywhere. Not that you actually need them, of course. Some of my ones I want to point out is Amazon Storywriter actually supports fountain. We have 
Atom, which is similar to VS Code. RIP Atom. Storyboard Fountain. Never heard of it. Sublime Text. Emacs, of course. Fountain.js will let you export your fountain code and the Fountain.js will format it so it looks right. There's a Vim plugin. And this Vim plugin I've used for a while. And it doesn't do any exporting or anything, but does a pretty decent job of syntax highlighting over here with these ones. One of the best programs out there is actually called, oh, real quick, Scrivener. Scrivener is another really big one with the literature crowd. Just out of curiosity, I did have to check. And yes, you can use VS Code.dev, the online version of VS Code, to open your fountain files. And you can even install um, the fountain plugin. However, there's no way to preview. The, a lot of these features don't work. The syntax highlighting is basically the only thing that works. But you can still get work done and save your work and all that kind of stuff, which makes it a very good option. There's also um, After Writing. Now, After Writing is another open source web based solution. And uh, this one's pretty slick, but if you check it out, we open here. The editor lacks a little bit. It's a little lacking in terms of, of aesthetically pleasing. It's not a fun interface to work in, but you can save your fountain file when you're done here. And it does have a, a pretty decent preview built in. Not a real-time preview, but a preview. And you can get in there and, and tweak things if you want. Um, oh, look at that, you can change the US letter. Very important if you're in the US. So let's look at that preview again, um, preview looks almost exactly the same, but it'll do it. Between these two things, if you don't have a dedicated machine for writing, you can still do quite a bit of awesome creative writing with Fountain. And last but not least, I just wanted to give you a little peek of what it looks like to do writing in uh, Vim, syntax highlighting for the Fountain format. It's a pretty easy plugin install. Just basically follow the instructions on the uh, the link to the Vim plugin. It works in Vim, and I'm running here in NeoVim. It works fantastic. It does, all it does is the highest index highlighting. That's all you really need. You can also run screen plane command line program in conjunction. So you write it in Vim, export the PDF with screen plane. Yeah, you, 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 you're basically going to have everything you need, um, even on the most nimble of computers. But I want to highlight ScreenPlane. Now, ScreenPlane is a web UI where you can drag your fountain file here and it'll export a final draft FDX file. Again, that's the industry standard format that everyone knows. So, I mean, in the year 2024 and beyond, you can usually give a producer a fountain file and he'll just open it up with whatever tool he's using. But if you need to get him an FDX, this is the way to do it. But it doesn't stop here because if you go to the GitHub page, there's actually instructions on the GitHub of how to install the, it through the command line. Pip, install, screen plane, and that's the version with the PDF export. And that one, that's, that's my go-to. I like this one because you can install on anything. You can install on your desktop. You can install on your phone using Termux, like the whole whole nine. You're, you're good to go. You're good to go. So that's that's something to like about that. But back over here to the Better Fountain plugin, this of course does the preview PDF. You can see what the PDF is going to look like. You can save this PDF, PDF with highlighted characters, yada, yada, yada. Does like, uh, like breaks down the scenes and the dialogue. Very cool functions. There's kind of overkill, especially if you're just starting out with learning how to write screenplays. But it's an awesome tool to add to that arsenal of that open source creativity tools and such. I really like talking about free and open source tools with these kind of loose open standards because I feel like it removes that barrier for that whole creative process. You can go online and look at other people's writings to figure out how they laid out their structures. You read some scripts, come up with your stories, follow the fountain syntax, and it doesn't matter what kind of computer you have. You're gonna be able to write a pretty decent script as long as you have that creative part taken care of. That's that's the hard part. This part's the easy part of getting the software and setting up. The hard part is being a good writer. Um, you're going to have to look at a different YouTube channel 
for that because I ain't got it. <laughs> but if you uh, if you enjoyed these videos that I make on Creative Tools, um, let me know. If you like it, give me a thumbs up and also subscribe if you want to see more of this zany content. And until then, um, keep writing or something. <laughs>